This is week five floor. Um, this is for level ones first, and then you can mix level one and level three for the level two. You're gonna start with handstands. These are a couple different stations. Go ahead, handstand. You can never do too many handstands. Then the next station, you're gonna go to a one panel mat, one baby panel mat, and just do a bridge hold. Walk their hands close to the mat. You can do just a bridge hold, or you can do a single leg bridge hold, where she holds up one leg, the kickover leg. Then you can do leg taps with straight legs. Good. Okay, then she moves over to the next station. This is a bridge kickover off of two mats. Always trying to work straight legs. It's better to go along a little easier and try to get their legs straight than to keep doing sloppy ones. Good. The next is for back bends. She's going to go against the wall and do a wall walk. She'll walk down the wall and then walk back up. This also stretches the bridge out. Good. Then we'll go to cartwheels. We'll start with cartwheels over a mat first. Go ahead. Notice the good hand placement. Do it again. She's going to put the first hand like a side handstand and turn the second one to face the first one. This allows her to keep her head in and look down her armpit to where she's going. Then you do cartwheels on the line. Look at the good hand placement on the line. Good. You can also do it to the step in. Try to keep arms by ears. Good. Then we'll go to level three. Back walkovers, I think, are a good way to warm up for um, floor stuff anyways. So you can go foot on the floor or leg lifted. Back walkover. Good. I would make a station of just that or back bend kickover. Then go over to the uh, pit and do jump backs, trying to get their arms back before hips hit the mat. Good. Um, do it again and try to push back farther. Try to get them to reach the other end of the mat. Good. Then we'll do a round off jump back. Watch the straight knees after the round off. She's going to kick over quick and punch the floor with straight legs. Good. Um, arms should be back a little bit faster so her, her arms hit before her butt hits the mat. Then we're going to go back handsprings over the barrel. You want to use a barrel that's a challenge. You don't want it to be easy for them. Notice this barrel is like shoulder height with Addie. Okay, then we're going to go to the pit. She'll go first, just round off, jump back. Arms will start up by their ears. I like to get away from the passe start and start more with a double plie, both knees bent. Take a long step, round off, punch back. Make sure they're doing this with straight, tight legs. Then you can add the round off back handspring. Good. Try to get them with good head position on the round off and the back handspring. Both should be looking down towards the edge. This is week five vault. We're moving into more handstand slams. I think it's always good to start with um, straight jumps up to the pit, but we're going to move right into handstand slams um, just for the video. So you can do handstand hops here up to the mat. Go ahead. Or heel drives kind of. Not really handstand hops. Good. Maybe five or so. Then there are white lines on the tumble track. That's good. White line's on the tumble track, and she's going to do handstand hops, trying to go over the line. Arms start down, small circle, and then shoulders get all the way open. Arms are down, circle. Good. Good. Then she'll come down to the end of the, floor, end of the um, tumble track on the floor, and there's a blue line where you can try handstand hops. Try to hop over the line on the floor. If they're doing that well, you could try it up to the edge of the floor. Good, it's a little harder there. Um, then we're going to do a handstand shape. Just grab a TheraBand, and they're going to hold it tight and push your arms all the way up tall, trying to hold a perfectly straight line with ribs in, hips flat, head neutral. Good. Then we'll have a board here and do board bounces, just punching the board with a tight body. Good, maybe five to ten. Then we'll do handstand slams. Um, first start with just a handstand slam, then it would be great if they could start blocking. So go ahead. Really work that circle, handstand slam. This is bars, week five. Um, we're gonna start with a birdie perch. You're gonna climb feet on. This is the easiest way of doing that, jump off. Good, then you can try to cast straddle on, but we're gonna do a squat on next. She's gonna cast and put both feet in the middle, keeping knees together. Good, okay, then the next part of this, um, moving in towards the soul circle dismount. Um, you're gonna start uh, with hands on the bar. She'll just put one foot up first and just swing. Good. Okay. Then um, we'll start swinging off. So she can either go one foot on or go both feet together, jump and straddle. 
and swing off. Good, then we'll do a pike one. Good. All right, then we're gonna go move over to the beams actually first. This is great for teaching shoot throughs. Jump and kick your leg through. Jump and shoot through. Good, then leg cut afterwards. Good, then back over to the bars. Okay, move over, other side, move over. We're gonna do just a, um, a mill circle hold first. So she can either shoot through or leg cut. Hands go backwards. And she lifts and holds for 10 seconds, as high as she can lift, really rounding her back, rounding her shoulders, and then relax, and then you can leg cut around. Then she'll come over to the, ne the next little spot at that bar, and she's gonna do a uh, drill for the drop of the mill circle. So you can leg cut over. She'll go hands backwards. Now, there's a little white line on the block. She's gonna lift up and try to reach over the line as she falls forward. You wanna keep the bar on their back leg on a mill circle, not the front leg, so all the bruises they get from on their knees they shouldn't even be getting them at all. Because they're like, shouldn't touch. Then you can hop over. Those drills are good even for level ones and twos. Then you can go shoot through mill circles here. Or leg cut mill circle, whatever they need to do. This would be a good spotted station. Try to encourage them to stay only on the back leg and not even touch the front leg. Leg cut. Leg cut. Good, and then I think it's always good to have a pullover back hip circle station so you can add, uh, set one more up and just have them working feet together, pullover, and cast back hip circle. Working on the flat hips again. This is week five beam. We're gonna start with a complex. Um, releve walking first. Always lock at the end, high releve, crown, and pivot turn. They'll do the same thing on the way back. When you're finished with forward, then go to backwards walking. She'll lock and pivot, then we'll do some scoop walking, hands on hips, and you can go on flat feet, scoop down, and step, bend your knee and step, good, scoop down, you can add a little hop to it, scoop down and hop forward, mm -hmm. or you can pivot turn, then you can go scoop and do a small leap, scoop down, small leap forward, mm -hmm. scoop down, small leap forward, good, good. Okay, then we're gonna go do some more handstand work. Uh, level ones will be doing rolls, but they can also do the levers. She'll put her arms up. We'll start with just a T lever. She'll go to a T and back up. This is more important than going all the way down to the beam and closing shoulders. Then we can do donkey kick, donkey kick handstands. Hands will start on the beam and kick the back leg up. Just kick it and hop the front leg. Hop the front leg. Good, and hop the front leg. Good, then we can try some split handstands this week. She'll put her arms up. Tall straight line, lever into the handstand, split handstand, and lunge, finish. Very good, then we're gonna do some side handstands. Um, no Wendy's yet, just working side handstands. Go ahead. And down, good, then I'll give you some side handstand drills. Find something that you can use that they can put their stomach against. Make sure they kick up stomach against the wall. She'll go up and just hold first. Notice the straight line. Try to keep weight even in the hands, fingertips, and the heel of their hands, and they can do a Wendy off. Good.